Christ, brothers. Are you celebrating before I said I answered? The, are you? Saying, is that what you're doing? I remember it. You remember it. Final answer, right, brothers. Definitely. Did you say right, brothers? Right. Absolutely correct. You have two million naira. Well done. Well done. <laughs> Uh, Mozart. Mozart wasn't the answer. Ludwig van Beethoven was the answer, and you have one million. Walk what? away, final answer. You walk away, yeah. final answer. Round of applause for them. They walk away with one million naira. Why uh, does uh, everyone stop at 11? My dear. Where were you going? I was walking away. You were walking away. Walking away means you walk away figuratively, not literally. presents Who Wants to Be a Millionaire Series 2. Hello and welcome to Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. The enormous show is back with a tantalizing top prize of 20 million naira. For every contestant that gets into the hot seat, there are millions of viewers wishing them luck, good tidings and huge winnings. But if someone gets to the final question and wins 20 million naira, only then shall confetti be launched into the air in resplendent colors and manic revelry. I have six of such contestants, and I wish them luck, good tidings, and huge winnings. But more importantly, I wish them confetti. Here they are. Wurola from Ibadan. Jessica from Aja. Emmanuel from Surulere. Charles from Igondo. Olabisi from Moe. Ade Tunji from Alimosho. Okay, so let us find out from Olabisi. I understand, Olabisi, that you are involved in charity work. You are involved in one foundation where your job is to prevent students from not dropping out from school. How do you do that? How old are you? 20. 20? And you're already involved in charity work. Great stuff, buddy, great stuff. I hope you keep it up. All right, I'm going to go to someone who is scholarly and she refuses to drop out of school, even after school, she's still continuing the process of learning. I'm talking about Wurola. Wurola, I understand you've written a book. No, a journal. A journal? What's the title of the journal? Farmer's Practices. What is it about? What is it all it's about? It's about termites, the um, uh, method, methodology of, um, of um, evaluating termite infestation on rubber plantations. Whoa! You know, I am going to keep a face as if I understood what that meant. That's how advanced you are into this scholarly thing. Congratulations to you. All right. Okay. So. The thing they have in common is they all want 20 million naira, even if they belong to the scholarly arm of things or whether they're involved in charity work or any other thing, recreation, they want 20 million naira tonight and we'll try to give it to them. We're gonna start with fastest finger first. The person that gives me the right answer to this question that will come, one question, four options. Arrange the options into the order that we ask of you. The fastest person to give us that order will play first. So lots of luck to you, contestants. Here comes the question. Arrange this film title in the right order. A Boy Called Dad. Well, I'm a film enthusiast, and 
Even that has me racking my brain. Let's find out the right order, first of all. I arranged this film title in the right order. Uh... Boy... Called... Dad. Of course it is. A, B, C, D. Who got it right? And who got it fastest? And who got it right is a boy called Olabisi. Well done. How are you doing, Olabisi? So after all your charitable works, it's time to make you some money. You want to play? Yes, sir. Well, let's go. Let's play. Right, I have Olabisi Mofikoya. He is a graduate of business administration. And uh, like I said earlier in a chat with him, he enjoys helping other students, especially the ones who don't have the financial capability in school and have to drop out. Well, his, the foundation he's involved in prevents the dropping out of such students. That's very wonderful. What inspired you to go into charity work while you were in school? Okay, actually, mm -hmm. the, we went for a program, but not knowing that it was the same program we went for, because my, the founder of the charity program came to the school to organize a program. So we went for the program. When we got there, they were like, okay, how can we help the, like, not knowing the full details of it. So, okay. I registered, put my name. So from there, I got a call and I was added to a group. So from there, the movement started actually like that. So the minimum amount was 500 Naira. Okay. So, and the maximum, any amount you can pay. Any amount you can muster. Yeah. Oh, that's great. That's absolutely fantastic. And um, you graduated in business administration. Yes, sir. So what are you doing now? Currently, I'm waiting for service. Okay, service, yes. and also looking for work. Exactly. Okay, all right, so while we are waiting for service to come, let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. You have 15 questions to answer here. 5,000 Naira is the least you could make here, all the way to 20 million. I have um, safety nets, the winnings at this level, question five, and also at question 10. So if you give me the wrong answer, you go fall back to the previous guaranteed level or safety net, or you fall back to nothing. I hope that doesn't happen. You have three lifelines. You have 50-50, where we delete two incorrect options of any question, leaving you the correct option and one remaining wrong option. It's gonna be done in a random manner. Uh, phone a friend. We can connect you to the friend you want to chat with just in case you need help on any other question. And ask the host. You can ask me to help you, and I can try as much as possible to, you know, talk it with you to see if we can find and ferret out the right answer. So with all of this, we hope we get to 20 million. All right. So are you ready? Yes, sir. Okay. Let's dive into it. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? The first question is for 5,000 Naira. Have a look. Which of these is a popular Nigerian Netflix movie starring Shola Shobowale? King of girls, king of boys, king of ladies, king of gentlemen. B, king of boys. Uh, don't say A, B, C, or D, just choose the option, okay? So king of boys, that's the right answer. You have 5,000 Naira. King of Boys was created and directed by Kemi Adetiba. Question number two is for 10,000 Naira. What month has an extra day during a leap year? January, February, March, April. February. February. It's the right answer. You have 10,000 Naira. February is the second month of the year and it has either 28 or 29 days. Question three is for 15,000 Naira. Doing well, keep it up. 
Which of these is not an African country? Togo, Ethiopia, Estonia, Libya. Estonia. Estonia. Estonia is the right answer. You have 15,000 Naira. You're correct. All right, let's proceed to the 20,000 Naira question, shall we? Have a look. What is the main ingredient used to make brownies? Chocolate, onions, garlic, cabbage. Chocolate. Chocolate. And that is the correct answer you have given me. That's 20,000 Naira. So, from the brownies question, let's proceed to the fifth one. For 30,000 Naira, I hope you like it the way you liked others. A person who loves, supports, and defends their country is called a what? A pessimist. A purist. A patriot. A performer. A patriot is the correct answer. You have 30,000 Naira. Well done to you. Tell me what happened with you and your parents a couple of days ago. Okay, actually, they did not want us to come here because of security reasons. So did you get calls from them to ensure that you are well? A lot. A lot. <laughs> All right, let's hope that uh, their efforts would result in you winning a lot of money, okay? Question six is for 50,000 Naira. You have three lifelines, 10 more questions to go. Pork is meat from which animal? Cow, chicken, sheep, pig. Pig. Is that your final answer? Yeah. Pig, final answer. Pork is meat from pig. It's correct. You have 50,000 Naira. I think bacon is also from pig, if I'm not mistaken. Question seven is for 100,000 Naira. We're coasting and it's looking good. Let's see the 100,000 Naira question. Who is the father of economics? Adam Smith, Henry Fayol, James Wilson, Vasily Leontief. I go for 50-50. Okay, computer, delete two options and leave him the correct option and one remaining wrong option. Adam Smith and Vasily Leontief. Adam Smith. Okay. Adam Smith. Adam Smith. Final answer, Adam Smith. Final answer, Adam Smith. Why did you go for Adam Smith? Does it sound familiar? Yeah. Well, Adam Smith sounds familiar to me too. But Wassily Leontief was wrong. You were right, you have 100,000 Naira. The effective birth of economics as a separate discipline may be traced to the year 1776, when the Scottish philosopher Adam Smith published an inquiry. Question number eight for 150,000. You have phone a friend and you have asked the host. Question number eight, here it is. What is the alias of the Marvel superhero Natasha Romanoff? Supergirl, Black Widow, Wonder Woman, Cat Woman.
Well, you have lifelines. You have uh, phone a friend and ask a uh, me. You ask the host? Okay. Here's what I think. Natasha Romanoff is a member of the Avengers. As a matter of fact, she's one of the girls in the Avengers. One of the ladies, actually, in the Avengers. Supergirl is not an Avenger. Wonder Woman is not an Avenger. Supergirl, Wonder Woman belong to the DC side. I think Catwoman belongs to the DC side also, but Black Widow. Natasha Romanoff was played by Scarlett Johansson, and she has a movie. That movie is called Black Widow, and they term her Black Widow. So 100% Black Widow is my final answer. Okay, I'll go for Black Widow. Go for Black Widow. All right. Computer, can you reveal the right answer? It is Black Widow. You have 150,000 Naira. That's awesome. She was one of the most talented spies and assassins in the entire world and a founding member of the Avengers. All right. So you have one lifeline. That's phone a friend remaining. Seven more questions to answer. Question number nine for 250,000 Naira. Let's see. What is the last name of the musician Adele Knowles Adkins Roland Williams What's up? Do you have any idea? Yeah, but I'm not sure. Okay, okay. You do have funny friend remaining here. Mm. But the person is not really like this kind of music. Okay, he, the person doesn't know about this kind of music. Not that the person does not know, but does not listen to. Oh, doesn't listen to this kind of music. What kind of music does the person listen to? Ah, uh, how would I say it? Cool music, but street music. Oh, street music. Oh, street music, like the music of uh, Portebu. Not really like that. Uh, Portebu is street music now. Uh, something like Naira Mali. Mm, something like that. Like something like that, OK. So what are we going to do? Do you think you can figure this out by doing an elimination? What is your mind telling you? My mind is telling me A, but I don't want to risk you don't, want, you don't want to risk it, right? Yeah. OK. Are you sure you will not just try the guy? Maybe he may know. You, or you are sure he wouldn't know? OK, I should. Yeah, yeah, because, um, I mean, what's the use? I mean, if you carry phone a friend, the lifeline home, you can't even make a call with it at home. <laughs> OK, I should. OK, all right. So who's this person? My brother. Your brother? Oh, what's his name? Adefe. Adefe. All right. Let's put Adefe on the line, please. Adefe. Yes, sir. Hi, my name is Frank from Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Kid. How, how are you doing? I have your brother here in the hot seat, and he wants you to try and answer a question for him. Okay? Okay, sir. All right, now, let me ask you, is a member of our staff there with you to make sure that you are not looking and getting help to get the answer to the question? Yes. OK, all right. All right, Adeife, your brother is going to ask you the question. He has four options. Tell him what you think is right and how sure you are. Everything will happen in 30 seconds, OK? OK, sir. The next voice you hear shall be that of Olabisi. Olabisi, good luck. Your time starts now. OK, what is the last name of, Ade of the musician Adele? The last name of the musician Adele knows D. Akins, C. Roland, D. Williams. Still one option left. 
Knowles, that's the A, B, Akins, C, Roland, D, Williams. Um, either Roland or Akins. He said, either Roland or Adkins. That's what he said. So if you wanted to choose which one, Adele Adkins, Adele Roland, which one sounds? Which one would you have? I'm just asking which one you would have gone for. I'm not uh, coercing which you. Which one? Yeah. I'll have gone for Roland, oh, okay. but I'm not sure. Okay, but you're not sure. So it's better for you to walk away. Is that what you're insinuating? Yeah, walk away. You walk away with 150,000? Yeah. All right, congratulations. You have 150,000 Naira. All right, what would you have gone for? Um, okay. What's the name, last name of the musician, Adele? I'll have gone for Roland. Roland, okay. Now, I want you to know that Ro um, these four names, they belong to Beyonce, Adele, um, Michelle and Kelly. So Michelle, Michelle, Kelly and Beyonce belong to Destiny's Child and Adele is on our own. Beyonce's surname is Knowles, Michelle's surname is Williams and Kelly's surname is Roland and Adele's surname is Atkins. So Atkins was the right answer. Your brother was all, was within striking distance of it but um, it's good that you walked away so you've saved yourself that money. You have 150,000 Naira. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a transfer to you, uh, to your Hope PSB digital account. Okay, so Olabisi, I have your details. I'm going to send the money, that's the sum of 150,000 Naira. I'm going to send it to your Hope PSB digital account. And it is, Done. So, you have 150,000 Naira. Thank you. I want to encourage you that you should continue in that charity work. And it's good to see someone so young thinking of others. And that is the way, I think that's the future of this nation, that we look out for each other. Thank you enormously for your good work and thank you for coming. Say hi to your parents and tell them that you were safe. Bye-bye. <laughs>chance to play on who wants to be a millionaire visit the website at www.millionairenigeria.com follow the instructions remember terms and conditions apply you can also visit our social media channels at millionaire niger on facebook instagram twitter and tiktok so at this point we're going to take a pause for the cause of a commercial break and we'll be right back stay with us Come with me. At UP, we have been innovating payment services since 1997, helping you meet your lifestyle needs and supporting businesses and partners through different services. FinTech, banking, e-commerce, payment solutions, merchant services, agency services, and revenue collections. UP, innovations that work for you. Innovations that work for you. Um, good afternoon, ma. I need um, Cameroon pepper. And um, anything more you think I can use for... Um... Fine boy, what's your number? Make and receive payments with just phone number with Pay Attitude. To get started, dial star 569 hash or download the Pay Attitude app or use the USSD code of Pay Attitude banks to enjoy oh, seamless transactions. Here you go. So, what's your number? Pay Attitude. Be all of you.
You don't wait for life. You go to meet life. It's not about how many chances you get. It's what you do with what you've got. Cup after cup. Morning after morning. Start strong. Finish strong. It all starts with a Nescafe. Welcome back. Now it's time for us to find out who will be the next person to play by Fastest Finger First, of course, again. So it's another question for you. And um, we're just going to answer the same way we answered the other one. Remember, you might all be correct, but it's the fastest person that takes the seat. All right, good luck to you contestants. Here comes the next question. Starting with the earliest, arrange these events as they occurred in Nigeria. Independence, Naira introduction, protectorate amalgamation became a republic. All right, let's um, find out the right order first. Okay, starting with the earliest. Arrange these events as they occurred in Nigeria. Now, the first one is Protectorate Amalgamation. Was that 1914? Then Independence was 1960. Became a republic in 1963. And of course, the recent one was the Naira Introduction. All right, so we have the configuration. C-A-D-B. Who got it right and who was fastest? Uh, two, but Charles, Charles was the fastest person, and you will play next. Hello, Charles. Hey, hey, How are you doing? I'm fine. All right, so are you ready to show your skills in the hot seat? Of course. Let's do it. All right, so this is Charles Kalunta. Uh, he is from Bende in uh, Abia State, right? Abia State, yeah. Oh, beautiful. All right, he is an account and admin officer. He works here in Lagos. And uh, he is thrilled about and excited about the prospect of staying in the hot seat and playing for 20 million naira. Not so. You were telling me about how you got on. I mean, how did you find out that we were back? And most importantly, how? Did you know how to play? Okay. Uh, I was going through my WhatsApp status. Okay, okay. So I saw a post from one of my students. Okay. The bar by name is from Ogoni. So I saw it, I was like, wow, they are back actually because yeah. you heard it. So I decided to try and uh, it went through and I got a call. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. So I was, uh, I was happy. I was excited. And you are here now. Yes. Yeah, so <laughs> once in a lifetime opportunity. opportunity. Wow. Ah, uh, yes, that's nice. What are you going to do with the money that you win here? A lot. Uh, 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 the, yeah, the, I suspect. The, <laughs> but first thing first, I think I will start with investing. Investing. Okay. Then we'll see how it goes. Oh, you see how it goes. All right, well, let's see how it goes here first. You have 15 questions, you scale 15 questions, we'll give you 20 million naira, guaranteed levels, remember, at question 10, or question five, rather, and question 10. So if you give me a wrong answer, which is, I hope it doesn't happen, but if you give me a wrong answer, you go back to the previous guaranteed level winnings, or you go back with nothing. You have three lifelines, 50-50, phone a friend, and ask the host. So are you ready? Okay, all right. I hope you're ready to root for him, too. Let's play. Who wants to be a millionaire? Question number one, Charles. This is for 5,000 Naira. Here it is. Which of these is the popular oil used in Nigerian homes? Ear oil, nose oil, mouth oil, palm oil. Palm oil. Palm oil. That is the right answer. You have 5,000 naira. It's an edible vegetable oil. 
question two for 10,000 Naira, Charles. Which of these is a piece of jewelry, necklace, armrest, leg cast, knee brace? Necklace. Necklace. That is right. You have 10,000 Naira. And we proceed to 15,000 Naira. Uh, all right, check out this question. How many colors does a traffic light have? Two. Three. Four. Five. Three. Three. And that is the correct answer. Red, green, and amber. Question three, or question four rather, is for 20,000 Naira and you're doing well so far. Which of these birds is a domestic bird? Vulture, hawk, chicken, raven. Chicken. Chicken is a domestic bird. You're right. Vulture, hawk, raven are all birds of prey. Question number five. This is for 30,000 Naira and it's guaranteed. Let's have a look. Which chemical is used to control weeds? Insecticide, nematicide, fungicide, herbicide. Herbicide. What? Herbicide. Herbicide. And that's the correct answer. You have 30,000 Naira and that's guaranteed. They say your favorite celebrity is Pete Edoche. Mm, yes. Pete Edoche. Yes. Why? Why? Uh, a lot. I like him a lot because uh, I, I believe he's a cultured man. He's a cultured man. And uh, to the best of my knowledge, he brought up his children quite, quite good. They are all doing fine. Okay. As an example to follow. So I like him for that. Did you see him in the series, Things Fall Apart? You never did. I never did. Wow, and, and he's your favorite celebrity. I wonder what, how you would feel towards him if you saw his performance in Things Fall Apart. Actually, I watched uh, Lion's Heart. I think that one was... Uh, okay, Ly Lion Heart, the one with Genevieve Naji. Yes, yes. Oh, okay. That was quite good. That was quite good. Yeah. All right, yeah, that's true. Okay, you're doing quite good here. You have not used any lifeline. Ten more questions to go. Remember, the lifelines are there if you need them. Question six is for 50,000 Naira. In which country is the highest building in the world located? USA, Scotland, Morocco, United Arab Emirates. United Arab Emirates. Is this your final answer? Final answer. Final answer, United Arab Emirates. The Burj Khalifa is a very tall building and it's in the United Arab Emirates. And it is the correct answer. You have 50,000 Naira, well done. Uh, yes. The building, people see it, most of it in, in pictures, but when you see it in real life, it is unbelievable. Question number seven. You actually are flying high. And this is a 100,000 Naira question. Good luck. Which insects bite causes Lyme disease? Deer tick. B. Mosquito. Brown recluse spider. Can I use a lifeline? Yes, please. I would like to ask the host. All right. Here's what I think. Insects bite causes Lyme disease. Deer tick, bee, mosquito, brown recluse spider. I don't know about mosquito. I don't know about mosquito. I don't think it's bee. 
I don't think it's mosquito, you know, but I don't know this for real. But I'm having, I'm thinking that it might be deer tick or brown recluse spider. Now, is brown recluse spider, are they very common such that they will have a disease of their own? I don't know. What about the deer tick? So I, I don't know. When I first saw it, I, I, I said, is it a mosquito? I don't know. So this is a very blurry, blurry uh, question for me. I really don't know. I suspect brown recluse spider, but I am not sure. And I'm sorry if I couldn't help you. That's my final answer. So what are we gonna do? Your guess is as good as mine. I'm looking at A and D, so... You're looking where? At A and D. Okay, that's deer tick and brown recluse spider. That's what you're looking at. Do you want to use another lifeline to see if we can narrow it? Sorry? That's too dicey. That's too... Dicey. It's too dicey. I think what is more dicey is you not getting the answer right. That's more dicey than you using a lifeline to ensure it. Lyme disease. Let me call a friend. You phone a friend? Yes. Okay, what's the name of this friend of yours? Kenneth. 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 Yeah. What's he to you, friend? A brother. Okay. He's a friend and a brother. <laughs> he's a brother, actually. Okay, he's a brother, all right. Okay, so um, let's uh, connect Charles to Kenneth by video call, please. Hello, Kenneth. Hi, Frank. Hi, how are you? I'm fine. All right. Um, you guys look alike. Is he your real brother? Yeah. Oh, wow. All right, uh, Ch Charles needs your help on a certain question, okay? okay. He's, going to, he's going to read the question to you, tell him how sure you are after you've given him the answer you think is right, okay? Okay. All right, okay. All right, Charles, you have 30 seconds. Good luck, your time starts now. Chidera, which insect? Lava, please. Which insect bite cause Lyme disease? Deer tick, bee, mosquito, brown recluse, spider. Come again. Which insect bite causes Lyme disease? Deer tick, bee, mosquito, brown spider. Brown spider. <laughs> get the answer, I go back to 30, right? Yeah, you go back to 30. Well, you still have 50-50. Mm. You can't... <laughs> can you uh, three life? I right? said, <laughs> you still have 50-50. <laughs> you said, hmm. <laughs> ah, wow. You can use three lifelines on one question just to move ahead. Okay, let's go for 50-50. All right. Computer, delete two options and leave him the correct option and one remaining wrong option. <gasps> Whoa. Wow. So our brown recluse spider has been reclused into oblivion along with Mosquito. Deer tick or bee? Lyme disease. Hmm. I go for deer tick. You go for deer tick? Okay.
Is this your final answer? Final answer. Final answer, dare take. Charles, I've seen the answer. What do you want me to do? I'm supposed to go for a commercial break now. Should I tell you the answer now? Tell me or the go answer. for a commercial break? Tell me the answer, please. I should tell you the answer, OK. Yeah. All right. The answer is after the commercial break. We'll be right back. I be mama promise. If they had promise to send money from town. Promise just opened Hope PS Bank account with my phone number. <laughs> with Hope PS Bank, I no need ATM. I promise go pay with a phone number. Open any account with Hope PS Bank. Use phone number for transactions. Dial star 569 star 9 hash. Download Hope Digital app or visit www.hopepsbank.com. They call me easy, all pun intended, because I find the smartest and easiest way to do things. Like operating my account in all my banks with PayAttitude multi-bank app and USSD code. Use a single app and USSD code for your accounts in all banks. Use your phone number at ATM, POS and web. Easy does it, guys. Download PayAttitude app or dial star 569 hash. Over the last 35 years, Golden Morn has been there with you and for you. Thank you for letting us nourish you and your family with the delicious goodness of homegrown Niger maize and soya. We celebrate you and raise a bowl to even more accomplishments together. Nestle, good food, good life. Welcome back. I have Charles in the hot seat, and Charles, you expended three lifelines on a question. I was upset about it. He still is because he's shaking his head vigorously. I told him that the thing that matters in this game is moving on. Well, he moved on, used all three lifelines on this question. But the thing is, was it worth it? Because which insect's bite causes Lyme disease? That was the question. And we used Ask the Host, we used Phone a Brother, and we now used 50-50. And he had to go with dear tick instead of B. B. B was wrong. Dear tick was right. You have 100,000 Naira. Well done, well done. Wow, that was, um, that was pretty close. OK, now I believe um, we used all three lifelines for one question. But this is when your general knowledge kicks in, I hope and I pray. So good luck to you. Question by eight. For 150,000 Naira, let's see this. Who was the author of the novel, A Tale of Two Cities? Charles Dickens. John Neal. George Meredith. Harriet E. Wilson, do you have any idea? <laughs> I don't have, I'm not good with novels. Sorry? I don't oh. have any idea. Okay, you, you, okay, you don't read too much literature. Yeah. Okay. I'm tempted to go for E. You say what? I'm tempted to go for E. Yeah. A. Yeah, A, A, not A, A, you mean Charles Dickens? Yeah. Is Charles Dickens your final answer? I don't want to risk it. You don't want to risk it? No. OK. <sighs> Charles Dickens, final answer? Nah. OK. So you're going to... What do you want to do? You want to walk away? The 100,000? I walk away. 
Okay. Is that your final answer? You walk away. Final answer. Final answer. You walk away with a hundred thousand naira. That is established. Okay. Now, let's see. What would you have gone for? There's Charles Dickens, John Neal, George Meredith, Harriet E. Wilson. Who? What would you have gone for? Charles Dickens. Charles Dickens. Okay. If you went for Charles Dickens. You would have been right because that was the right answer. Charles Dickens was rewrote a tale of two cities. It's considered a historical novel and a classic by Charles Dickens. But not to worry, you still have a hundred thousand naira, and I'm going to do a transfer to you. I'll credit your Hope PSB digital account. Okay. So I have my phone here. I have your details. I'm going to send you a hundred thousand naira that you've won on who wants to be a millionaire. I'm going to do that by crediting your Hope PSB digital account. I'm going to do that right now. So I know you wanted more, but I mean, who wants to be a millionaire is like that. If we're not armed with the knowledge, how do we get earning power? So. Hundred thousand is here, and it is done. Okay, all right. So thank you very much. Thank you very much. Say hi to your brother for me, and oh, encourage him to come to. Tell him to dial and come. No problem. I will do that. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. You can go. Visit myspectre.com to get your Spectre experience. Spectre, loans in five minutes. Imagine having a guy for everything. I have a guy that pays for my cable TV, my electricity, and other bills. Thank you. This guy helps my lady with her shopping. This guy helps me verify stuff. That guy is Pay Arena, where you can pay for utilities, Buy and sell, verify documents and identities. Visit payarena.com or download the Payarena app. Nothing lasts forever. I was young, but I remember when it started. It ran for 13 years. It was such a great show. Where are the organizers? Made me smarter. Oh, fuck. The kind of money they used to win. I hope you come back on our screen. He <laughs> wasn't smart. Oh, man. One of the best. I used to watch you with my popsy. Even the greatest of memories. But at times, an ending is not where it all stops. Start of a new beginning. Welcome to the rebirth of the world's greatest quiz game show in Nigeria. The wait is over as the all new season starts now. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? For 20 million naira, what is the highest value on the money tree for the all new Who Wants to Be a Millionaire series 2? A. 5 million. B. 7 million. C. 10 million. D. 20 million. Correct! 
you've just won! Don't miss out as your favorite host, Frank Adol, is back in search of Nigeria's next millionaires. to be a millionaire series 2 the rebirth back with a fan So we've come to the end of another great episode of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. But remember, you can participate in the weekly play by dialing star 569 hash or star 7006 star 20 hash. And you, all you have to do is follow the instructions. So now, at this point, let's see the lucky winners from last week. You can watch exciting episodes of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire on Sundays by 8.30 p.m. on Africa Magic Showcase, African Magic Urban, Africa Magic Family, STV, and NTA on Mondays by 8 p.m. You can also visit our social media handles at Millionaire Niger on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we've come to the end of the show, but remember, you have to keep on trying till you eventually get invited to come sit in a hot seat and play with me for 20 million naira. The essence of all this is general knowledge. We, as a nation, must move forward in terms of general knowledge. You have to be interested in subjects that are not near you, far-flung subjects that don't even concern you. You should know a little about everything. And that could prove to be a great artillery when you come to sit here and answer questions. On behalf of Black Hut and UP, I want to thank everyone for watching and saying, keep a date with us next time when we return with Who Wants to Be a Millionaire Series 2, The Rebirth. My name is Frank. Good night and good luck.